Good morning students. Today in this module we learn about the drainage patterns that we can see in a topographical map and also the drainage these drainage patterns are seen in general in the all over the landscape. So let's begin. We'll first start with the meaning of word drainage. The term drainage describes an area drained by the network of rivers along with its tributaries and subtributaries joining the main stream at different angles. So here the term drainage describes the area which is drained by a river and also its tributaries as well as its subtributaries. So we have discussed this earlier also. Today again I will draw and show you. the main river and the tributaries and the subtributaries joining the main river and this whole area is drained by the river so this is its drainage basin or catchment area so now a well developed river valley can be divided into three stages so a drainage basin or a catchment area the river uh, proceeds from a highland to a lowland and in its way it is divided into three different stages. A river starts from a highland, reaches the plain and finally meet the sea. So before meeting the sea, it, in the first stage it, it comes down with a great speed and a lot of high velocity, its uh, erosive action is very strong. Then comes the second stage when the velocity reduces the river starts uh, forming curves or meanders, the slope becomes less steeper and finally the la third stage here the river becomes very very uh, slow, the slope is very gentle and often a river in this stage forms delta and deposition is its main uh, work. Here it is erosion and transportation. Here it is mostly transportation and here it is deposition. So like this a river, the life of a river can be divided into three stages. So students let us learn more. So this was about the concept of drainage. This is how a river can be divided into three stages rather the life of a river or a river system can be divided into three stages. Upper course when the river is very uh, swift and fast and coming from a highland. So you can see the contours are close to each other and you see the values 1800, 1700, 1600 this means they, uh, this is a very high area a highland and the contours are close to each other it means the slope is very steep. Now the middle course of the river when the river enters the middle course you can see the river has started forming curves we call them meanders so they are like this the rivers start forming curves. So these curves are known as meanders. Now the slope here has become less steeper. Now you can see the elevation 800, 700. So it's much lower than this part. And then in the third or the lower course, the river gets into a very, very gentle slopey area where it curves more. And you can see this portion, it's uh, showing the delta. So lower course of the river, mostly when the slope is very, very gentle, you can see the height, it's only 10, sorry, 100 to 200 meters above sea level. So the slope is very uh, gentle and the elevation, the height, altitude is also very low. So these are the three stages of a river. You can see in the first stage, erosion is at its peak. Second stage, mostly it focuses on transportation of the sediments and the third stage, deposition of the sediments. So, uh, this is about the three stages of or the three different courses of river. So, we will talk about the upper course. The slope is steep and the river flow swiftly, very fast. Valley side are steep. It is shown by close contour line. Now students we have seen here the contour lines are very close because the slope is steep. River valley is represented by narrow V-shaped contour. So the river valleys are uh, 
shown with the help of v shape contour children you can see the v shape contours and uh, there is lack of tributaries tributaries do not join the river in its upper course then the middle course the gradient decreases and river flow slowly students in the previous module we have discussed about the gradient is the ratio between the vertical increase in height and the vertical rise to the horizontal equivalent so that is the gradient so the gradient decreases and the river flows slowly transportation is the main work so here i would like to mark here transportation is the main work river valley is much wider than the first stage and here also it occupies a wider v shape now this is the middle course you can see the contours have come little away because the slope is not as ste steep as it was in the upper course and you can see the height has also reduced the river has started forming curves or meanders now the second stage the characteristics contours are far apart indicating gentle slope the river bends and form loops wide river valleys are formed tributaries join the main river so in the second stage or in the middle course you will see tributaries joining the main river now students uh, come to the third stage or the lower course of the river speed is extremely slow as the gradient is almost flat deposition here in the third stage the river the main act is deposition so the characteristics are contours are widely spaced definitely the slope is very very gentle here you can see the contours are very far see the elevation and height also not more than 300 meters above sea level and the valleys are almost flat very wide meanders oxbow lake may occur now sometimes students when the meander is formed like this in a river sometimes it gets cut off from the main river a small portion and it forms this kind of a structure uh, it happens because suppose a river was flowing like this and then more deposition occurs and the river changes its course so this portion gets cut off from the main river so it's formed this kind of a shape this is called oxbow lake now so these are the features uh, that can be seen in the lower course of the river let's proceed so this is the lower course we have seen the features and the main work is deposition now we'll learn in this module about the drainage different drainage patterns that we can see in general on all over the earth surface as well as uh, as we are learning topography so we need to identify these drainage pattern in the map so there are important questions also and that come every year in the examination related to topography so a dendritic the first one is dendritic drainage pattern a dendritic drainage pattern is a most common form and looks like branching pattern of tree roots now students will see the picture so this is how a dendritic drainage pattern looks like this is the main river you can see the arrow head this is the uh, direction of the movement of river and you can see the tributaries and the sub tributaries they are joining the main river so this is dendritic pattern or dendritic drainage pattern this type of drainage pattern develops in region underlain by homogeneous material if and the rocks are of homogeneous nature in such areas we will find dendritic drainage pattern this is the uh, the subsurface geology has similar resistance of weathering means the rocks are of similar kind so they have weathered and got eroded at similar level that's why this type of drainage pattern has developed here the the rocks have not taken control over the drainage pattern so this is the dendritic drainage pattern you here you can see students the tree like structure as if the branches of a tree are there 
and these are the contour lines you can see the contours are also marked so this is a dendritic drainage pattern in a topographical map students you will see them like this you can see they are forming like uh, spreading all over the area like branches of trees so this is dendritic drainage pattern now the next in the list is trellis drainage pattern it is a rectangular pattern formed where two sets of structural controls occur at right angle now students will see this these are resistant hard rocks and in between there were soft rocks so soft rocks have been eroded and you can see the main river and the small uh, streams or tributaries are joining the main river almost at, at 90 degree so this type of rectangular or pattern of drainage system is known as trellis drainage pattern in a trellis pattern the river forms a net like system and the tributaries flow roughly parallel to each other so you can see the tributaries they are uh, flowing parallel they are almost parallel to each other see this one this is the main river and the tributaries are joining and they are here also you can see they are parallel to each other this is another picture you can see this main river and the tributaries are joining the river in a topographical map you will see them like this you can see here that this is the main river and the tributaries are joining almost at 90 degree so this is a trellis drainage pattern next is radial drainage pattern so the name itself says radiating out so the drainage pattern in which consequent stream radiate or diverge outward like the spokes of a wheel from a high central area so we'll see this is a highland and you can see the arrows the river the water is moving out from the highland towards the lowland and it is um, moving out in all directions so it is radial drainage pattern you can see here also even the contour values are given this is a highland so 400 350 so you can see the values reducing and you can see the stream radiating out in all direction so this is a radial pattern let's see in the map you can see here students this is a high elevation the height is mentioned here and you can see the streams moving out 1 2 3 4 like this and so you can even see here they are moving out so this is a radial drainage pattern let's proceed now the disappearing drainage pattern in such pattern the river flow to a certain distance and then it is absorbed by the porous rock so this is very important after certain distance the river disappear it start flowing underground it happens mostly in areas of limestone or a dissected region having porous rock so the areas where the river disappear is marked by broken line on the map so let's see so you can see the broken lines here the river is flowing on the surface and then it start flowing in the sub surface so this is shown in the map with the help of broken lines you can see this a very good in, uh, example uh, it's in the map these are the disappearing streams or disappearing drainage pattern now the next is parallel drainage pattern so here students the the streams they for uh, they flow parallel to each other in such drainage pattern the streams and tributaries they flow parallel to each other so this happens and in this typical kind of a drainage pattern is called parallel drainage pattern so thank you student that's all in this mod